how long does a Kunawara Cabernet age is the question. So Kunawara Cabernet ages um, probably better than any Cabernet um, almost in the world, almost. Um, and the reason why is that in Kunawara there is um, no region that I know of in Australia that is cooler climate that you can ripen Cabernet uh, successfully every year. And this is because Kunawara Cabernet, uh, Kunawara is very flat and so we get this real even ripening across the whole of the region. Whereas a lot of regions have hills and so you have shadow on one side, lots of sun on the other. Everybody in Kunawara has got an even playing field and but it's exceptionally cool climate and they have Cabernet which is uh, planted in Mount Gambia and many years they just can't ripen it. So that's only 40 minutes down the road, half an hour and they've got vines that they can't ripen. So we are right here and even in Nangwari I know some uh, Cabernet vines that uh, struggle to ripen so this is the last place sort of in Australia that we can ripen it successfully nearly every year you know unless it's been a wet year like 2011 was not a great year um, but that means that we've got the longest growing period possible and it holds the acid in there and that acid helps uh, hold in all of those complexity of flavors and that is what is the key so when aging a wine you want natural acid you want complexity of flavor um, and you don't want um, fake acids that have been chucked in there because you just there's a chance that it will go porty whereas very rarely an aged cabernet will will in kunawara will, will ever look porty um, you'll just get these really nice leather um, spice notes and this is what makes Cabernet King. We forget here in Australia that we, we're, we're so uh, wrapped up in Shiraz, but Cabernet is by far the largest uh, planted vineyards in the world. Um, it's by far the largest drunk red wine in the world. And, um, and with America, for example, it's 60% you know, of all red wine is Cabernet. Yeah, here in Australia, 60% of all red wine is Shiraz. So um, we forget just how popular it is. In Europe, it's over 60% is, is Cabernet. So uh, these are, are um, things that, because we love Shiraz so much here in Australia, we, we kind of forget. But when you taste an aged Cabernet, there is nothing better. So this wine, we're starting to see, um, 2016 was a, it was a really good year, actually. It was um, a year which I think will age extremely well. Um, and I think this wine is still very tight. This is why I'm saying if you can get a chance, you know, taste it with me now, but leave the rest and decant it, uh, especially if you've got a few mates around the house. But smelling it, you'll get this really nice uh, lusciousness on the, um, on the palate, but leave it a little bit longer and you'll get this real chocolate notes and and you, you'll get your own flavors. So I think you'll find that um, a lot, our winemaker always talks about cassis, which is a um, fortified um, blackberry. And I think this has it a lot. So um, this is a wine which is still tight. It's new release. I'm expecting it to age well, but um, just give some patience to it. So at the moment, I think it's, it's just really, really tight. And it's like a bunch of flowers that just haven't opened up yet. Just, it needs the, 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 either the age or if you can't wait, then just decant it, so. Mm. All right, I better give Jamie one of these too. He's gonna, oh, he's got one. Excellent, good work.